cell phones. We rely on them to function in our daily lives. And we use all these apps to help us do different things. You can log into your bank account, check your investments, or access your sensitive medical information. But so can someone with bad intentions. In this lesson, we're going to learn how dangerous apps can be and what you can do to protect yourself. Cyber criminals know how much value can be found on our devices, and they are taking advantage. Of the world's cyber attacks, around 60% are initiated on mobile devices. About 80% of attacks on mobile devices take place via apps. Compromised apps give criminals easy access to your device and all of your private information that lives inside. So, what can you do to safeguard your retirement lifestyle against cybercrime? In this lesson, we'll do three things. We're going to talk about the two biggest ways criminals target apps. We'll also look at the damage that can be done. And finally, I will walk you through the steps that you need to take to reduce your risk of attack. Let's jump right in to the first technique that hackers use, and that's creating fake apps. If you have an iPhone, you possess a more secure operating system and app store than Android users. But no smartphone is immune to cyber attacks. In October 2022, Facebook, or Meta, identified over 400 malicious apps affecting both Android and iPhone users. So, how do these apps steal your information? Cyber criminals create apps disguised to look useful or fun. They will publish fake reviews to cover up the negative ones and know that people will be tricked into downloading them. When you download it, it looks and feels like a real app, but the damage has already been done. The malicious code that's in the app steals your information and now has access to your accounts and passwords. Cyber criminals know that 70% of people use the same password for multiple accounts. So they can hack your Facebook or Google account and now use this information for more severe and financially devastating attacks. A best practice when downloading new apps is to take a closer look at its reputation. Look at its download count, ratings, and reviews, including negative ones. If something seems fishy, it's best to find a more reputable alternative. Another way criminals gain access to your information is through out-of-date apps and software. New threats are discovered all of the time. In November 2022, Apple released an update to fix a zero-day security vulnerability. What is a zero-day threat? It's an unknown security flaw in an app or software. The company literally has zero days to fix this vulnerability. If you ignore these security updates or don't update fast enough, hackers can use these loopholes to steal your sensitive information, including your location, passwords, and financial accounts. Now it's time for you to take action. You'll do three things that will help protect your accounts and financial security from being compromised. So get your iPhones ready and follow along. First, let's reduce your threat surface. You'll identify and remove your rarely used apps, which will reduce your risk of being affected by future security breaches. First, unlock your iPhone and find settings. After that, scroll down to general. Next, select iPhone storage. Here you will see how the storage of your phone is managed. As you scroll down through your apps, you will see the last use date as well as the size of the application. For example, I haven't used this wallet app since last year. I will select it. Here you have two options, offload, which keeps your data stored on your phone, but still vulnerable, and delete app, which will also delete all stored data. I'll select delete, and that's it. We discussed earlier why updating your apps is important, but look out for apps that prompt you for an immediate update directly from the app. This is a telltale sign that this app has been compromised. Make sure you only update your apps through the verified app store and not the app itself. Now, let's make it easier for you and set your apps to be updated automatically. Go to Settings, scroll down to the App Store, and select. Then, under the Automatic Download section, make sure to toggle on App Updates. 
Finally, let's make sure our phone's operating system is updating as well, as these updates will contain critical bug fixes and security updates. Go to Settings and select General. Click on Software Update. And here, you have to make sure that automatic updates are turned on. So I will select all of these options. Always remember to update your phone as soon as you get the notification for the system update. Congratulations. You have taken important steps to reduce your risk and stay protected from evolving threats. My recommendation is to find and delete all of the apps that you haven't used in at least the past six months. Additionally, you can always ask yourself, do I really need this app? Ultimately, it's up to you to invest your time and attention towards securing your financial future. Have a great day and stay safe out there. Removing apps is only part of the battle for your personal information. In the next lesson, we'll learn how apps are tracking you, selling your data to shady companies for billions of dollars, and the steps you need to take to protect your identity.